hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're seeing me for the very first time my name is akusia benhini um if you're a returning subscriber hey boo hey boo what it do i love you for always coming back so in today's video i'm going to be talking all about allowing yourself to reinvent yourself or reinventing yourself to be that girl okay that's what we're talking about today and if you click this video then that's probably because you've already made up your mind you sat down made your decision that you know what i think i'm ready to step into that woman that i'm supposed to be that person that i am supposed to be in this world so if you click this video then i'm sure you already made the decision you know what you're about so shout out to you for coming here but in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips that has helped me personally to step into that womanhood and that is also going to help you to you know just allow yourself to reinvent yourself is what I call it it's honestly a journey of reinventing yourself allowing yourself to step into that being that becomes you know the woman that you've always envisioned that's what I call it so I'm, I'm not going to even talk so much let's get right into it let's share what I have and then we can get into becoming that woman that we're supposed to be, okay? Now, today's drink, we have pretty much the same thing that I had in the last video. Um, we just have a new background. What? How am I not going to acknowledge that? We have a beautiful new background. I love this, but I want you guys to comment below. What do you think? What are we thinking of this background? I feel like it's such a vibe. It brings the calmness into you know the video and how we want it to be but comment below let me know how we like the background um but when i say allow yourself to reinvent yourself that's because it hit me i i did that i've had to do that for myself i've had to allow myself to become the woman that i've always wanted to be and we all have that person that we want to be that's flat out we all have that woman or that man that we've always wanted to be and we have that vision of this person that we know for sure that this is the person that i'm gonna be this is the person that in the future i want to see myself as and sometimes we even see people on social media who sort of have that vibe that we we like and then we're like you know what i like this girl and i feel like i do want to be like her and that's always beautiful but you need to allow yourself to go through the journey you need to allow yourself to get to the point where you make the decision that you know what i think i'm ready to step into that woman that i'm supposed to be so and again if you're watching this video you've probably already decided that i am ready i am ready to become this woman and i want to be okay so the first thing that i'm going to say is you need to start by asking yourself who do I want to be? That is literally what it is. When I say ask yourself, who is the woman that you have envisioned yourself to be? Who is this woman that you've always known that when I grow old, I want to be this person. I want to be this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, who do you want to be? How do you want to present yourself? How do you want people to see you? Um, how do you want to talk? How do you want to react to situations? It's a lot when it comes to asking yourself who you want to be so that's where uh, what i call personal work will come in or shadow work is what some people will call it you want to sit down and literally when i tell you literally take a pen and a paper your notepad your ipad whatever you have write it down who do i want to be who is this woman that i want to be who is this person that i want to show up as that's what you want to do literally what is this person doing how is this person talking how is this person presenting themselves in situations who is this person Person hanging out with you know what is that person for you take your time write it down it gives you a clear picture of what direction you want to go on so start by asking yourself who do i want to be so the next thing that i'm going to say is when you are able to map out this like vision of yourself now you want to go in and ask yourself which areas of my life can i improve like which areas of my life can i work on to help me get to the stage that i want to get to which areas of my life can i work on to help me become this woman that i've always wanted to be so that could be setting a routine for yourself you know i'm big on routine so i'm always going to throw that out there okay don't even look at me like that like i always would preach having a set routine having things in structure personally having things in order just puts my mind in a good place so it's something that i would always preach but ask yourself which areas of your life can you work on to help you feel like you know what i feel like yep i'm i'm working towards becoming this woman that i've always wanted to be do whatever you can to help you get there but what i want to say is start with yourself start with 
the basic things in your life that you can improve. You don't want to go all the way out to like try to change your life in a day. That's crazy. And that's never going to happen. Let me let you know that, okay? It's a process. And I will say it every time. It's a process. So you're not going to just stand up one day and create a crazy, um, create a crazy routine for yourself. No, that's unreasonable. You're not going to stand up one day and just change your entire diet. No, it, it never happens like that. Okay. Um, I'm, sometimes we can feel like, oh, let me make this massive change. No, you'll break down along the line because you didn't plan, because you're not ready for it, because you didn't take your time to, you know, inco incorporate into, into to your lifestyle so whatever you decide to do take your time put it into your routine do what you have to do but don't make like a crazy life change take it one day at a time okay so now one thing that i've been saying or doing is or like my literal little slogan that i've been going by is look good feel good okay if you know me know me you know that I, before, I couldn't be bothered to like wake up and, you know, I will wake up, I'm very productive, I will do my to-do list and whatnot, but I couldn't be bothered to like look presentable. I would always say to myself, well, who do I owe? Like, it's a very thing, it's a very African thing. It's like, we're thought to say, well, who do I owe? Like, I don't owe you nothing to look a certain way, you know what I'm saying? But as of late, one thing I've been saying and doing is look good, feel good. Oh my goodness, when I tell you, putting effort in how you look and just how you present yourself can go a long way to helping you like becoming confident it's like so beautiful and that's one thing i've been doing i just want to throw it out there if you're thinking of well, what what is the first thing that i could possibly do maybe start with that look good feel good i love that slogan and just living by that has helped me so much in making me feel like you know as long as i look good i feel good i have good energy i'm able to do so much i'm able to put so much good energy in all different areas of my life just because i feel good you know and it might sound cliche but it works it works trust me it works so well so maybe try that if you don't know where to start maybe try that look good look for a good way to present yourself you know and when i say a good way to present yourself be true to yourself okay style your hair in a way that is true to you you don't want to be doing things that is way out of your brackets you definitely want to do things that are true to you things that are authentic 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 to you okay if you are the type that doesn't like nail extensions paint your nails or like foul your nails use some clear nails nail polish or whatever like always have a way to make your nails look presentable that's one thing and my nails would always look presentable because i'm like i don't know like it's just it has to you know like it just makes me feel good honestly it's nothing it just makes me feel good like that's why i probably have alopecia because i'm always touching my hair and i shouldn't but if my hair is looking bad, I will try as much as possible to like put it together. Sometimes I feel extremely too comfortable and then I'm like, you know, again, I don't owe anyone. But as of late, I've been trying so much to put energy and like, you know, put just put, put out that energy of like look good, feel good. I feel like it really does help you to feel productive and like feel a certain way about yourself. So maybe start from there, okay? Now, my next point that I'm going to talk about is comparison, okay? Like do not compare compare yourself to other people while you're on this journey of reinventing yourself because that can very much happen it happens in our everyday life plus now that social media is very much like in our faces every day like we constantly were scrolling we're looking at somebody's page we're liking we're in people's businesses not because we want to but because it's just there like because people are posting stuff so we have no option than to look at them and so it is very easy for you to compare yourself and i find that especially as a woman maybe men sometimes i talk to my husband a lot about these things you know like and maybe my husband is different he's very much of an introvert so he couldn't be bothered but i feel like as women we very much do a lot of like comparing ourselves to other people and not just as women this whole generation millennials gen z's that whole generation all of us we very much look at other people and feel like sometimes it can make you feel like well what am i 
I'm doing? Because all these people are doing all these beautiful things and you are looking at your life like, well, what am I doing? And that can hurt you. That can hurt your progress. It can hurt it can, it can hurt how you feel about yourself, which is not how we want to feel, which is not what we want to be doing. So in this process of allowing yourself to reinvent yourself, girl, you don't want to compare yourself to other people. That is very dangerous. It's dangerous to your self-esteem. It's dangerous to your confidence. You want to be true to yourself. When I say true to yourself, allow yourself to know that you are enough okay everybody's journey is different and i cannot scream this enough everybody's timing is different everybody's life is different and so everybody's lifestyle is going to be different social media what people put out there even including me i put out what i want people to see i put out what i feel good about i'm not going to put out anything that i don't feel good about and that's just the reality of things your life is not going to change that okay your life is not going to change years of how social media have been and will always be social media is always going to be flashy it's always going to be nice it's very rare where you will see people share their hard times on social media because that's the, the reality is people will come for you and you know sometimes people don't like that so social media will always be full of things that are nice things that are beautiful and sometimes that can make you feel like you don't have enough beautiful things going on in your life which is what i don't want you to do don't compare yourself to other people know that this person is this person and you are you you come with unique qualities they come with unique qualities you cannot compare yourself to them because you cannot be them and they cannot be you what you bring to the table is not what they bring to the table every person on this earth is an individual we have like individualistic like I, I, the word is so big like individualistic qualities that the other person would never have it's crazy but that's just the reality of life you can always be you and this person can always be them you can never be them you bring a different source to the table you're just a different girl believe in yourself in that manner and when you do when you look see a comparison can it can put you in such a place where you're like what am i doing you know like what is happening in my life which is just the reality of things we've all been there we've all felt that way but you have to talk yourself into knowing that someone's timing i need to stress this someone's timing is always going to be different from your timing you need to keep that in mind everybody's timing is different the fact that it hasn't happened for you yet doesn't mean that it's never gonna happen for you once you take that out of your mind trust me everything will fall in place once you take that out of your mind you wake up with a whole different energy you'll wake up knowing that what is for me is for me and nothing is going to shake that out of my way you need to be confident in that saying what is for me is always going to find me what is for me is always going to be for me words of affirmation they help a lot because sometimes only you can tell yourself these things only you can give yourself the vim that you need that's the word like only you can be your biggest cheerleader sometimes and you need to do that don't compare yourself to other people like i'm i'm very passionate about this point because it can very much put you in a place of like what am i doing with my life and we don't need to do that okay everybody's different now my next point that i'm going to talk about is which is my point number four i'm going to say that be very intentional on this journey i am very much big on intentionality um i feel like being intentional with your general approach to life can help you see a lot of the things that is going on in your life when i say a lot of the things being intentional is like your presence you're there like anything that is happening your mind is there like you see what is happening because you're in the moment and you allow yourself to be in the moment you see people for who they are because you allow yourself to be in that like you're, you're just intentional about everything your general approach to life you're intentional and it will help you a lot it has helped me a lot another way that you can be intentional with this whole allowing yourself to reinvent yourself is when you wake up right what what i do is immediately when i wake up and my eyes like open i will pray i will pray say my gra gratitude prayer it's what i call it my morning gratitude prayer and then i will go on to set my intention for the day how do you want your day to go trust me doing that every day alone can help you see everything in like 3d it's like oh okay i see my day i see how i'm putting time in this i see where i allow myself to you know to flourish i see the things that i waste time on be intentional start with being intentional with just your regular day then you can push it into other areas of your life it's so cool 
Mm, it's like so beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie. That vibe where you can say that nobody's energy is gonna throw you off today because you know how you want your day to go. You don't want somebody's um, off beats to come and spoil your slow jams okay so that's what i mean when i say set intentions or being intentional about the day put some energy into your day ask yourself what type of day do you want to have it's a lot of things that you can think about when you think about being intentional where whatever you do be intentional about it and then point number five which happens to be my last point i'm gonna say that give yourself grace while you're on this journey of allowing yourself to reinvent yourself that's a lot of words but let me say it again <laughs> give yourself grace while you're on the journey of reinventing yourself while you're on the journey of becoming that woman because i say this because sometimes we don't recognize how some of the things that some of the negative things that we say to ourselves can have an effect on ourselves sometimes we're so good at saying nice things to people you know to everybody around you you're so nice you're so sweet you say all the kind words but it never comes to you you know you never say it to yourself that's what i'm saying you want to give yourself grace while you're on this journey and know that you deserve love you need to teach yourself love you need to give yourself love. You need to give yourself grace. And when I say grace, say kind words to yourself. Words of affirmation. You know, that can also give you so much like knowing that you got you. Because really, if you're not saying all these things to yourself, who do you want to say them to you? If you're not saying them to yourself, how are you even going to step into practicing them? If you're not being nice to yourself, if you're not giving yourself grace, if you're not knowing that this journey that you're on will take time and will, you know, will take some work and some sacrifice, how will you even get there? So you need to know and you need to tell yourself that while I'm on this journey, I'm going to give myself grace. I'm going to know that it will take time. I might have to sacrifice some things right now, some temporal things to be able to get you know some long lasting benefits in the future and it, it, it comes with giving yourself so much grace it comes with knowing that you make some mistakes along the line you find out some things about yourself um that you have to change and you have to give yourself grace while you're on that journey because it's a journey of becoming it's literally a journey of becoming and stepping into this person that you've always wanted to be and sometimes you find out some hard truths you you have to deal with a lot of things to be able to polish yourself to become that woman that you've always wanted to be or you have to sacrifice something so give yourself grace allow yourself to go through this process and grow through it okay now on that note i just want to say that shout outs to you for even taking time out to you know decide that i want to do this to clip the video just basically make up your mind that i'm ready to become this woman because it's beautiful to start it's beautiful to see yourself grow and it's beautiful to see yourself becoming that woman that you've always envisioned it's like feels so good it's like i'm making good decisions for myself i love that for you i love that for you and i'm hoping that this video can help you get there i'm hoping that this video can be an inspiration to help you do what you have to do to become that woman that you've always wanted to be okay now if you haven't already subscribed to the channel i'm definitely asking that you subscribe if you like the content and if you you know like the video of so please give it a huge thumbs up it definitely helps youtube to know that you like the video so that they can share with other people um i would love that you can follow me on instagram akusia benhini thank you so much for watching the video i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> cheers <laughs>